Okay, Yannick and Gabrielle from Between the Lines Winery. See, I screwed up before and I said Between the Wines Winery, which is a little bit redundant. So Between the Lines Winery from Niagara-on-the-Lake. You're actually not even drinking one of your own wines right now, isn't that right? I've got the Niagara College Pinot Noir uh, Chardonnay, uh, and it's been in uh, oak for quite a while, yeah. and it's a 2010. It's actually pretty good. And you like it, huh? Okay. Yep. What are you going to pour for me right now, Gabrielle? What, what are you going to give to me? I've got a choice between what? What do you got here? I've got a uh, 2011 Gewürztraminer, a little bit on the sweeter side. Okay. And we have a 2011 Cabernet Franc, and it's a little bit unique in the sense that it's unoaked. Interesting. Okay, so which one would you like me to try? Which one would you recommend? Definitely a Cabernet Franc. A Cabernet Franc? Okay, well, I'll just put this down here. Gabrielle, if you wouldn't mind doing the honor setting me up. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, Between the Lines. Uh, Between the Lines was uh, started about two and a half years ago by my brother Greg and myself. Mm -hmm. uh, we took over the vineyards from uh, our parents. Okay. And uh, we started actually growing grapes in uh, 1998. Wow. So a lot of our vines are very established already. Okay. And uh, my brother and I grew up in the vineyards, so we know our fields inside and out. We know which uh, fields are ready, uh, when we have to harvest them, how we have to harvest them. And that allows us to make very fruit forward, very easy drinking wines. Nice. Now, Gabrielle, this is your your son. I know you're very, very proud. By the way, what happened here with the poor? Yeah, okay. What? That that's not that was not the intention here. But I don't know, Peter, if you got that. But this is between the lines. Uh, between the between the lines, winery tends to uh, between they, two stains. Yes, the between two stains <laughs> is apparently the wine that I'm going to be having right now. But I think we might have discovered a title for your next wine. Yeah. Uh, between two. St actually, that sounds awful, doesn't it? Between two stands. So you're very you're very proud of your son though, is that yes, right? Tell, I am. tell me a little bit about the story about Between the Lines. You said that your son went off to Germany to study wine, is that right? Yes. The boys were quite little when we came to Canada. And after all the work in the vineyards, they basically grew up in the vineyards, they still decided to take over the farm and having an own winery. And they got educated in Germany both very well and it looks like it's going to be really good. Gangbusters, excellent. So now I'm going to sample the Between the Stains yes. and uh, <laughs> we'll see what we think. Is anyone having a glass with me? What's that? Oh, you're yep. still you're still drinking the other guy's wine. No, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this one for a while. <laughs> okay. Cheers, here's to you. Yes. Cheers. I mean, he, he started his education at uh, Niagara College, so I think it's a very good thing to try the wines. Absolutely. Yeah. You're giving back to the he community. Started, yes. Fantastic. Yes. This isn't exactly a sample pour size, is it? You, this is, is this what, between the lines. <laughs> between, the, <laughs> between the lines. They're very, very generous people uh, between the lines. Make sure to do the tour. Let me try this right one real quick. That's fantastic. Now, um, would I be wrong in saying I've heard the words Cabernet Franc a lot today? Yes. Would I be wrong in saying that Cabernet Franc is becoming a staple of the Niagara region? It is. Uh, it is a staple of the Niagara region. Okay. Um, it's actually one of the varieties that my brother and I find is most suited to Niagara. Um, it's much more suited to a colder climate that we have here. Okay. And it ripens every year. So okay. no matter if we have a great vintage or a bad vintage we can always make a great Cabernet Franc. Uh, Niagara Cabernet Franc tends to be blended or it tends to come as a varietal? We're actually one of the, uh, in Niagara, it's one of the few places in the world that it's made as a single varietal. Uh, really? Um, which I find surprising, often in France or other parts of the world, it's only about 4%, maybe 5% of the entire blend. Okay. Niagara is one of the few places to make single varietal Cup Franc. And I have to ask, Gabrielle, where can people purchase this wine? Because I know it's not available in certain liquor stores right now. No, not in the LCBO at all. You only can buy it at our place in Niagara on the Lake, okay. between the lines, yes. or <laughs> in certain restaurants. In certain restaurants. Yes. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot for talking with me. Thanks for the, uh, the glass of wine between the stains. Um, it's a <laughs> delightful wine. Next, I'm going to try the white, but it's going to take me about a half an hour to get through the pour that yep. she just gave me, so we'll see what happens then. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much.